Well, after spending nearly four decades behind bars for a crime he didn't commit, Robert Dubois is now suing the city of Tampa and the police officers who allegedly framed him for rape and murder. Fox 13's Catherine Holly's live at the courthouse tonight with some more info. Catherine. Well, Mark, the lawsuit was filed yesterday, and it names the city of Tampa a forensic consultant and four Tampa police officers that were involved in that botched investigation, saying all of the alleged evidence they had against Robert Dubois was fabricated. Robert Dubois was 18 when he was found guilty of the rape and murder of a Tampa teenager. He spent the next 37 years in prison. Finally being released in 2020, his conviction overturned and his name cleared. You know, the DNA evidence conclusively shows that Robert is not the person who did this. Dan Marshall is one of the attorneys representing Robert. The legal team filed this 34-page civil lawsuit Monday, suing the city of Tampa for police officers involved in the 1983 investigation and a forensic odontologist. Robert's wrongful conviction hinged on two main elements, a so-called bite mark on the victim's cheek and statements from two criminal informants. The complaint alleges the detectives fabricated evidence and conspired with the dentist to pin the crime on Robert. This case is a, a prime example of, you know, what can go wrong when, you know, the the police do not use the proper procedures. Um, you know, the innocent man goes to jail for decades. Robert is now 56 years old and says he's not bitter about what happened to him. He just wants the broken system fixed and people held responsible. If something isn't done to bring some kind of justice, then someone else is going to follow in their footsteps. And next thing you know, you're going to have somebody else's son heading to death row for something they didn't do. So really, my goal is to try to ensure that this doesn't happen again. It can be a long process to get compensation from the state for the years of freedom stolen from Robert. Typically, the wrongfully convicted are awarded 50,000 bucks per year they were locked up. The complaint wants a jury to decide what Robert should get. But we feel this lawsuit is important to put a, a more realistic value on, you know, somebody's freedom for 37 years. Um, in, you know, missing out on every important part of somebody's life. Um, you know, he hasn't been able to get married or have kids. Uh, he missed the, the death of his father. Now, Robert tells me he is just being patient. He says that he is making a living right now doing home repair work and really just wants to see some justice and a future for him and his family. Mark. Catherine Holly live for us tonight. Catherine, thanks.